Display 2.33 is the latest iteration of Martin Audio's array optimization software. This tool allows the user to generate array presets specific to a venue or application that can either be loaded into icon amplifiers for use with wavefront precision systems or directly into MLA series arrays. The software can include as many array configurations as you require for different applications, whether that is, for example, delay and fill positions at a festival site, or different coverage goals for a single array that can be loaded as multiple presets. Display uses an extremely accurate computer model of the array to predict system performance and automatically optimize first the physical articulation of the array, and then the DSP parameters required to suit the coverage goals defined by the user. Before the array can be added to our virtual venue, Display asks the user to define some parameters of the array, such as array type, chosen from all optimizable systems, deployment method, whether the array will be flown or ground stacked. Some arrays have the option to pole mount, and some can be deployed in conjunction with subwoofers. Select the number of cabinets in the array, and finally, you give the array a suitable name. The dashboard now displays a series of steps to follow in order to define the array preset. First, a 2D slice of the venue is created, the predefined array added, and basic audience coverage is drawn. Clicking on the six buttons within the dashboard will open their respective workspaces. To begin, either define the maximum geometry of the venue that will be drawn, or locate a previously created venue to import the slice. The slice is a side view of the venue, usually on axis to the array. It must be drawn anti-clockwise, starting from the back of the stage, and regions are defined by clicking to place vertices throughout the venue. This can be drawn roughly, as precise definition of the vertices can be refined using the points table top left. The tab key is used to quickly cycle through the coordinates for each point. Additional points can be added or removed at any time if necessary by selecting the appropriate button. Green for add, red for subtract. The blue button allows the user to manually move a point by selecting it and dragging it around the shell to a new position. The venue can also be defined by using a polar coordinate system called Survey Mode. This mode allows you to build the venue geometry by using a distance and angle measurement entered from a reference point. In the system diagram, the yellow diamond is shown as the reference and can be vertically offset from the vertex it is snapped to if required, if your measurement device is mounted on a stand for example. Servo mode will be used if venue drawings are unavailable and is useful in venues with multiple balconies where the height relative to the ground plane is hard to ascertain. Inputting the distance and angle displayed on a laser measure is a quick and accurate way to define the venue geometry. Now that the slice has been refined, the selected array can be added. Once again, the placement can be approximate then adjusted in the Array Position dialog boxes. The Array Position figures show the precise position of the cross symbol on the array in the slice diagram and corresponds to the front of the top cabinet in the array. Array Position can be adjusted later in the Splay tab if required. The Audience region can now be defined within the shell. Just like drawing the shell, the audience must be drawn in an anti-clockwise direction from the start of the audience right through to the final audience position. As display optimizes the array for the audience coverage and accounts for audience offsets, there is no need to overshoot the audience at the back of the venue as was commonly required with conventional line array systems. 
audience start and finish positions can be adjusted again by utilizing the colored buttons and dragging the cursor to the appropriate location. Equally, the entire area can be removed and redrawn.